hemophilia derives from two Greek words, hema, meaning blood, and philia, meaning affection. Hemophilia is a hereditary condition. This means that it's passed from mother to child at the time of birth. As you can see, when the father has hemophilia and the mother doesn't, none of the sons will have hemophilia, but all of the daughters will carry the gene. When the mother carries it, there's a 50% chance that the boys will end up having hemophilia, and there's a 50% chance that the daughters will end up carrying the gene. The blood of a person with hemophilia does not clot normally. They do not bleed more profusely or more quickly than other people, however, they bleed for a longer time. Many people believe that hemophiliacs bleed a lot from minor cuts. This is a myth. External wounds are usually not too serious. Far more important is internal bleeding, hemorrhaging. These hemorrhages are in joints, especially knees, ankles, and elbows, and into tissues and muscles. This leads to very painful swelling, as you can see. There are three types of hemophilia. Hemophilia A, Hemophilia B, known as Christmas disease, or Hemophilia C. Hemophilia A is the most common and represents 80% of most hemophilia cases. It is caused by the absence of clotting factor VII and occurs in about 1 in 5,000 to 10,000 male births. Hemophilia B is more rare than A and occurs in only 1 in about 20,000 to 34,000 male births. It is also called Christmas disease after Stephen Christmas, the first patient described with having it. It is caused by the lack of clotting factor IX. Lastly, hemophilia C is a mild case that is thought to affect 1 in 100,000 of the adult population. This rare form of hemophilia affects both males and females and is caused by the deficiency of coagulation factor XI. As hemophiliacs do not produce these factors in their blood, it is only able to make a temporary barrier, a scab, to stall the bleeding. Without these factors, the fibrin that stops the bleeding is not able to maintain a clot. This is why hemophiliacs bleed for a long time. Though in most cases, minor cuts and scrapes are fine, the real damage is caused by internal bleeding. When a hemophiliac has internal bleeding, it can press on vital organs, such as the brain or heart. Internal bleeding can also bring about painful swelling and can lead to joint damage. Treatment can also be harmful as the patient is exposed to possible infection from transfusions. The diagnosis of hemophilia is relatively simple. If the doctor suspects that a child has hemophilia, they will run tests looking for the missing factors. One of the tests they do determines how much von Wildebrand factor is present. If this is low, then they know that it is von Wildebrand disease, not hemophilia. Depending on which factor is missing in the tests, they are able to determine which type of hemophilia they are dealing with. Once this is determined, they classify it as mild, 5 to 30 percent of normal amounts, moderate, 1 to 5 percent of normal, or severe, less than 1 percent of normal amounts of factor. Because hemophilia is a genetic disorder, there is no known prevention methods, though there is a treatment. The treatment for hemophilia involves replacing the missing factors allowing the blood to clot normally. They can do this two ways. One, they can use factors from donated plasma, or two, they can use a genetically engineered cell line called recombinant. And lastly, some random facts. Famous leaders such as Genghis Khan and Abraham Lincoln are known to have suffered from hemophilia. Another famous carrier and the reason for the name royal disease is Queen Victoria, who passed it to many kingdoms via her daughters. Because of this, Tarskevich, son of Tsar Nicholas II, and brother of Anastasia, had this disease which led to the power that Rasputin gained. Rasputin is rumored to have been responsible for the murder of Alex and his family of seven.